Hey there, boys and girls. It's your guy, Noah Car Guy here, and right now is the marvelous month of March. It's the month of Daylight Savings, St. Patrick's Day, and my cat's birthday. It's also the month when McDonald's has the Shamrock Shake available. I've been hearing stuff about it online, and I want to check it out. Apparently, the large is 800 calories, making it a very American fast food item. So, I'm going to go get it from McDonald's and bring you car guys along with me and let you know what I think. So, let's get going. Could I please have two medium shamrock shakes, two 10 piece McNuggets, and three medium fries? Any ketchup at all? Nope. No, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, so we got the shamrock shake now and I think it's time to try it. Looking at it, it's a lot greener than I expected. I mean, this thing is minty green, and you can see it looks like they've got some whipped cream or something at the bottom. Fun fact, when I looked on their website to see the description of this, it says it has a whipped topping, but not whipped cream. My suspicion is that it doesn't have enough dairy to be considered whipped cream, so they're only allowed to call it whipped topping. It's really thick and quite minty, mintier than I expected. It's a very artificial minty flavor, but it's not bad. You really gotta suck with two C's on this thing to get it out right now. It's that thick, but it is fairly creamy and it's just minty. That's the only real flavor it has to it. It's like if you ordered a mint ice cream shake, which is pretty much what this is. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's a little underwhelming, but I still recommend it. I can see why they only sell it a few months a year. It's really not worth being on the menu full time, but hey, glad I got to try it, and I'd recommend that you guys try it out too. Overall, I would give it a 3.5, 4 star rating out of 5. All right, so I'm here to update my review. As I'm drinking the shake on my ride home, it turns out it is really bad. It tastes extremely artificial, and I'm making this update because I really have to tell you how bad this is. Uh, the first few sips were fine, but it's really a bad shake. It gets three stars at best for being festive for St. Patty's Day, but really it's like a two-star shake. It tastes worse than anything else I've had at McDonald's, and that says a lot, so it's a bad review for this. Would not recommend. Hopefully that gave you some helpful consumer advice about whether or not you should get the Shamrock Shake. If you like these videos, or if you like my content, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe down below. And with that, I'll see you car guys later.